Hello and welcome to Marbella in Spain. I'm joined by Marcos Tinesi. We're going to talk all things pre-season, we're going to talk last season, we're going to talk summer break and we're going to talk everything that there is to look forward to with the new campaign. Now Marcos, thank you so much for joining me. As I say, we're here in Marbella. How have you found the last week or so? Uh, I saw it, yeah. I, I think the start of the pre-season has been tough. Uh, but it's good that we are doing a pre-season to, to build up from with, with a new trainer, a new idea of playing. I think it's something, something nice that we already have a friendly match to, to see where we are and to see what we have to improve for the upcoming games. And there's been a lot of double sessions, as you can see. It's very hot here out in Marbella. How tough has that been, you know, in that heat? Yes, it is tough to train with this heat, but actually I'm a bit used to this because of South America and Argentina. And I kind of like it because sometimes in England you, you miss this. But yeah, it's tough with the way of training and everything is being a bit, bit hard. And the new coach as well. How impressed have you been by Andoni Areola? Uh, yes, uh, I've been impressed. I think the idea of playing that he has uh, is something good for us, for everyone. I think we are going or trying to be a, a team which will, will be competitive protagonists of, with the ball and trying to play as high as possible. So something that we have to improve and try to, to do it. And we've had the first game of pre-season already against the Bernie and it was a tough one again in the heat, but a 4-0 win. How good is it just to get minutes in the tank at this stage? Yeah, of course, of course, it's nice to, to start to have minutes, to, to see where we are, uh, to see we, which thing we have to improve as a team and, and start to build, uh, to build up from, from that. And obviously we've got another game coming on Sunday. These games, they come in quite quick succession, but Andoni said the other day that there's no better practice than match practice. So how crucial is that, you know, for you and the boys to right the wrongs potentially of, you know, the things that didn't quite go to plan on Thursday? No, of course, of course. I think the, the best thing is play games yeah. to, to get the rhythm, to get the, the minutes on, on, on the legs and, and see the things that we have to improve for, for the upcoming games, which we have to start at the, Premier, the Premier League as soon as possible. And another new face in the camp is Justin Clivert. Now, obviously, he's Dutch. Previously, before you came here, you were playing in Holland and it looks like you've struck up quite a nice friendship. Yeah, at the beginning I, I'm joking with him with, with the Dutch because I don't speak it at all, at, at all. But I know some words. I understand Dutch, so it's fun to. Or it's nice also to, to have someone someone from from Netherlands. And in terms of the summer break, obviously it was a much shorter break this year because of the World Cup and the season finishing later. But what did you get up to? Tell us a little bit about you know your summer and, and how you relaxed and took time off. Yeah, I, I went to Argentina to see my family, grandparents uh, and friends and then uh, uh, I spent most of the day with them and then I went to, to Miami with also part of my family and actually to relax, to be a little bit on the beach and I start to train a little bit, move the body and yeah, just, just was that. I went to a place where I can just stay there. I start to train, relax and get back uh, to England. Did it go very quickly? Uh, yeah, actually it was really fast. Now for you, you've come back, and you've got a new haircut. Yeah. Tell us about it, was it in the plans? Was it, you know, a spontaneous decision? Um, no. Last, last year my brother told me, you have to do something on your hair, do some colour. I was like, kind of, I don't want to do colour on my hair, I don't, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable with And then, was, was the day in Argentina, I say, should I do it or not? And was like, okay, I will do it. Otherwise, I will just take it off afterwards if I don't like it. But it's something just for the summer, maybe, I don't know, if, I don't know if I will keep it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, my thought is just when the, the Premier League starts, just to take it off and go back to my, my normal haircut. Well, the Premier League, it's only sort of five weeks away now. The fixtures are out. How much are you looking forward to, to being back and playing in England's top division? Uh, yeah, we are all looking forward to, to the start of the season. I think we are all, all excited of, of it, of the new idea also, the way of we are going to play, and we will see where, where we are this season. How much did you learn from last year? Obviously, it was your first season playing in what so many people call the best league in the world. How much did you, did you take from that that you can take into this season and build? Ah, I think it's the, one of the best uh, leagues in the world. I think uh, 
we already learned a lot of things from last season. Uh, I think that some things will, won't happen again. And yeah, try to to get the, the result that we need, the, the, the achieve the goals that we, we all want and see where, where we finish this season. Are there any fixtures that particularly caught your eye or any teams that you, you know, look out for as, as the ones that, OK, this one's here, this one's here, this one's here? Because every player maybe has a team they support as a child or a team where they've got friends, perhaps. Is there any of those games for you where you look out for them and, you know, think, OK, I need to, I need to play well in this one or need to remember this one because I'm going to see this person or that person, you know? Uh, no, I'm not supporting any team in England, actually, just, and of course, us as a team, as a, as a club, uh, but I don't know, it's just it's something that I feel that you every, every game in, in Premier League is, is a tough one, it's a nice one to play, so I'm looking forward to play all of them. It's a tough start as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. I didn't take a much look at, uh, at the fixture actually, but yeah, I, I spoke with Neto and some yeah. of, the, of the guys and they told me it is a tough one. And just tell us, what's the mood in the camp kind of been like, not just over the last sort of week where we've been here, but since the boys have been back? No, of course, it's good to have a good offer for, for work to, to see and to train. I think that, that's the best thing uh, we, we can have as a good atmosphere on the group, good atmosphere with the, with the staff, everything going well. And yeah, start to build up from there and see where, where, we, can, where we can do. Well, Marcos, thank you so much for joining us out here in Spain. We really appreciate your time, and I'm sure the fans at home will really enjoy watching. So thank you very much from all of us at AFCB TV. That's a wrap. Thank you.